Look at this system. I've got 4x squared plus 25y squared equals 196. And I want to solve that simultaneously with x squared plus y squared equals 49. So this is a circle centered at the origin, radius 7. And this thing here is actually going to be some kind of ellipse centered at the, at the um, origin. So let's take a look and see what, in fact, we see for a solution. Well, how can we do this? Well, I see that somehow, I, look, look at this for a second. 4x squared, and here I've got an x squared. If, now just hear me out, if this were a 4x squared, then this term would be the same as this term, which means that if I took this equation and this equation and subtracted and took this minus that, then the 4x squared and the 4x squared would actually just add to give 0. And I would just have things with y's in it. So the idea here is to eliminate one of the unknowns. Well, unfortunately, that little fantasy about imagining a 4 there, it's not there. So it's just a fantasy. But we can put a 4 there and not change anything if we do what? If we multiply both sides by 4. So let's actually multiply both sides by 4 and see what happens. So I'm going to take the first equation as it is, unaltered, in its purest form. There it is. But now I'm going to write the second equation in an equivalent way. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything through both sides by 4, and the value will not change. So I have 4x squared plus 4y squared equals, and then I have 4 times 49, which turns out to be 196. Now, if I take these two equations and subtract, so I take this side minus this side and this side minus this side, then I'm going to have another equality. But look what happens. When I take the 4x squared minus 4x squared, they drop out. And that's the elimination. And then I'm left with what? I'm left with 25y squared minus 4y squared. So how many y squareds do I have in total? I have 21 y squareds. And look at what an amazing cosmic coincidence we have here. 196 minus 196 is 0. This is going to be pretty easy to solve. I'm just going to divide both sides by 21 to undo the multiplication. And I see that this tells me that y squared equals 0. There are technically two answers, y equals 0 and y equals 0. They're really the same, and so I just see y equals 0. So there's the y value. What about the x value? How can I find the x value? Well, all I have to do now is take the y I found and insert it into either one of these equations and solve for the x. You can use either one. So which one would you use? I'll tell you what I would use. I would use the one that's easier, which looks like the second one to me. So I'm going to go back to the second one. Let y be 0. So look at this. And now insert a 0 here. So I see a 0 squared. So that just equals 0. And so I see x squared equals 49. We could almost do mental math here. That means x equals 7, right? Is that right? Is that right? x equals 7? No, because there are two answers. I see a quadratic, quadratic, two answers. Take the plus or minus square root, and I see plus or minus square root of 7, a uh, square root of 49, or plus or minus square root of 7. Two answers, and what are they? Well, one is x equals 7, y equals 0, and the other one is x equals negative 7, y equals 0. Is that really, really true? Well, we can actually check our answer by taking a look at a graph and seeing if we get these two solutions. Remember, we, we've already established that this is going to be some kind of ellipse. This is going to be a circle center of the origin, radius 7. The ellipse is also center of the origin. Well, if you actually graph them, look what you get. You get this beautiful picture. There's the circle center of the origin, radius 7. And there's the ellipse. If you were actually to divide through by 196, you can actually see the major and minor axes. But look. They just graze each other. Woo! They just graze each other along the x-axis. And what are the coordinates of that? The coordinates of that are, in fact, you can see negative 7, 0. There's that solution. And 7, 0. There's that solution. So we can see the visualization of all of this algebra. And you can see that they're connected. This picture is connected with all of this work. And we were able to solve this system using elimination. Pretty neat stuff.